a, a woman whose music we've heard for some 30 plus years if uh, you, you, a lot of people talk about the the golden years of of hip hop part of those golden years was the explosion of dancehall reggae and the, the fusion of reggae and hip hop and this lady was a a major part of that in the late 80s early 90s she is a, a dancehall reggae queen patra is with us in the virtual studio hello miss patra how are you Thanks for having me. Thanks for having me. And I'm also happy to be back. And of course, even before I started, I have to thank Angelo LB from Double Exposure for being a part of my career with the continuation. So I'm very excited. Thanks for having me. It is a, it is an absolute pleasure to be able to talk to you, uh, and certainly shout out Angelo Ellerby Double Exposure uh, for for making this happen. Um, so I mean, we the the songs we know you came out with with the remake of of Think from Lynn Collins. You had Romantic Call with Yo Yo. You had Sense of Attraction. You had so many you know different hits over that time. Um, and and it was a whirlwind, I'm sure, because everything seemed to happen really quickly when things started. Yeah, it was. And as I said, we have Romantic Call, Queen of the Pack, Pull Up to My Bumper. There's so many hits, hits on top of it. It was fantastic time for me. I enjoyed every moment of the 90s. And what it has taught me is taught me about quality of performance, quality of the music, presentation how you take care of yourself how you present yourself the 90s rock i you know i relish in the 90s so for me it was fascinating but in the end you know i decided that i needed to take a break so that i can preserve myself and that's what i did i didn't know it was going to take so long until i realized that it was you know that time when people would tell me but even until this day, it felt like it was a year because I'm so happy and in a perfect place right now. I'm more creative, and of course, I'm also in control of my career. I can make decisions and all that stuff, you know, and so it's a beautiful thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, when you talk about that time and you said you learned about performing, uh, I actually got to see you perform actually uh, here in New York during the Harlem Week Festival. Uh, yeah. You performed. And one of the things that I always thought was very interesting about you, um, was there were uh, you know dancehall reggae has always been a uh, kind of male dominated um and you were uh not only a, a female a queen but you also leaned into your sex symbol nature uh, of, of who you were and and for a lot of women you know took control of your sexuality um talk about how much of a challenge that might have been in this male dominated field music is male dominated anyway and then dance or reggae even more so. So talk about the choices you, you made to make sure and to, to stay grounded in yourself. Oh, yeah, most definitely. Well, I was raised with four brothers. I'm the only girl, so I, I, I've never seen anything as male dominated. You know, I've grown up with strong aunties, my mom and everyone. You see, where I'm from in Jamaica, yes, it was male dominated in the music scene because there wasn't a lot of female in the space at the time. But the female that was in the space, they're so powerful, like Mama Nancy, you know what I mean? Lady G, you have mm. Sister Carol, you have, um, there's so much more people to pick from junior ranks, you know what I mean? And then after that, you have all the artists that come about but because of the culture is so strong in jamaica the confidence was there when i moved to the state i realized it was a little bit more different however i take my same caribbean roots there and the people relish in it because right there the women know that yeah free up yourself you know you can just love who you are be free express yourself you can be diplomatic you can also make it extremely classy and for the fellas you know because it was a male dominated field at the time they want a female to come and defend them so i think i was fit in that space so for me personally it was like beautiful on both sides you know i was accepted by both communities so that's what the music has done and for people to appreciate the jamaican culture so much I'm so thankful and happy for that. So for me, it wasn't hard at all. I just went in, you know, very hyperactive and just take it to them. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Uh, you mentioned, you know, you, you had the whirlwind of success, all the hits back to back, uh, and you decided to take a break. Talk about, you mentioned you need to kind of step back. So talk about that process. And, and I'm sure that was a hard decision, or maybe it was an easy decision. To take a break well you know it was it was it was definitely a hard decision to make 
at the time because you know when you want to find the right people to communicate with and everything they're not there and pertaining to the business aspect of it you, you don't have much say and i wanted to have say in that however there was one person that has always taken my call and make sure everything is okay and that was angela ellaby so all the things that i was going through it lead me back to a path where i honestly believe that if i had not gone through it i wouldn't be more spiritual be more mature more even more humble um being my roots level has turned up and it has taught me so much and it taught me business wise i get to educate myself understand what i'm worth and during that process you know i age in reverse it's like the lord has just taken <laughs> like 20 years off me you know so for me it was great until dj cassidy shout out um you know i have other stuff doing but he had shout out i was in production and he shout out for me to do pass the mic on bet <laughs> And um, I was like, whoa, what a perfect opportunity God has presented me with. Because if this is the opportunity for me to come out, what better platform for me to come out and let the people know where I'm at, how I'm at, and what I look like and everything. And trust me, after I did that, everything has changed. The whole place just get crazy. Because people are like, oh my God, look at Patrick, this, that, that. Because they really didn't know where I was. Because once I'm not doing anything, I just stay away from society. Because the more you stay by yourself, and listen to that soft voice that speaks within you get in touch with the atmosphere nature always have good people around you you find yourself at peace in many ways and that's the same thing i want to use now in approaching business or wh whatever venture i'm on and i'm doing it you know i make sure that i keep not only god close to me but i keep my mind clear at all times and knowing that this is just a job i was blessed with an art and i must respect it and present it in such a way so I'm, I'm very thankful. Yeah, you mentioned you, you received the call from DJ Cassidy to do Pass the Mic. Um, and so you've been away for a while, you, and you mentioned, you you know, when you're, you're away, you're, you're truly staying away. Um, but had you been paying attention to the industry, to music, to see some of the changes that was going on? Had you thought about when might be your right time to come back out during that time? What? Yeah, well, I've had that in mind already, but I wanted to make sure that I have the right people around me. Because although the music business has changed, it has not changed to where people do not want good quality music. And I wanted to make sure that we preserve not only the dance hall and the reggae part of it, but all the op opportunity that I've gotten around to my fans. Say, for instance, this music that I'm doing right now, I have the hip hop community cover, the R&B, the pop, the reggae, and the dance hall. But for me, I don't like see people or say, oh my God, this is what's happening or what's not happening. Because as I stated before, the quality that the 90s has left artists like me with, we were so blessed to be in that era. You cannot think nothing but quality. And if you, if you weren't ready, you weren't ready. But if you're ready, you have to come with the good material so people can get to be a part of it. And um, the only thing that has changed for me mostly, I think, is the technology. Because back in the day, you know, we had to go to the, the radio station, show up to the magazine place, to the photo shoot, to the this, to the that. But now technology has done that. So we have to be on the TV and all that stuff. So those were real, real work, like hardcore work, you know, in order to earn your position. It has to be good. Now with technology, <laughs> it's a whole bunch of other things going on, but I will use it to my advantage and, you know, gain new fans and to make the music grow the right, you know, the way I think I want mine to be. Right. Uh, speaking about the music grow and new music, you had the, the new single, Gimme Way, uh, that, mm -hmm. that is out right now. Uh, I guess a couple of weeks ago I first heard it, about a week ago, mm -hmm. and, and you and you had the video out as well. Uh, yeah. Talk about that. Is was that part of a long process, or did that come out of getting the call from DJ Cassidy and said, "Okay, now is the time," and and oh, just putting it no, together. no, no, definitely not. It's my good friend General Legree. He's also a successful artist with Traffic Black and all those stuff. He's now also a producer, and he contacted me and told me you have this bad rhythm and you have this bad idea. And after listening everything, I just went into the studio and we put everything down and, you know, just deliver it the way I want to deliver it. Also, you know, put the harmonies on. So I'm the one that's literally doing everything on the track. So when we got it, man, it was just like artist to artist vibe. And I know that my album is going to be like, you know, full of different categories. 
But because I wanted to warm up in the meantime while I'm coming back out, I think it was a good opportunity for me to put that song out. Give Me Away is a song about just get out of my way. It's natural. Whoever want to see that. Also, it's about good quality dancehall music. Back in the day when there was so much love and respect, you know, no one cursed anyone or anything. Even if it was a lyrical vibe, everything was just moving easy. So for me, it's like, you know, the part where I say, I remember those days when holy by female artists fan stage. And different things I go on now what there is, but me go show who no on me break. Me no afraid, queen in the park, me no come back in a ramping. You know, so it's just like, it's that, that real root vibe, like you would hang out with a woman and share somebody, something that you're feeling. And not only that, I have to feel something when I'm doing it. So I think it was a good tease, you know, just for people to see what I look like, how my vocal content is in the meantime while I warm up for my album. Right. Rhythm and Soul Radio, we have the honor of speaking with Patra here in our virtual studio. Um, where are you based now? Are you in the U.S.? Are you back in Jamaica? Well, I'm I'm in between, but you know, but I'll be heading to the US now that you asked me. I'm coming back for the show. I'm in Jamaica right now, finishing up my production and mm -hmm. getting everything in place, um, okay. organizing myself and everything like that because I need that mental, spiritual roots vibe. I have to have that yeah. culture behind my head. You know, the ocean, the river, the type of food, the sensuality. You know, I have to get that to take it to you guys. But I'll be there in New York in June, June 6th with Shabba Ranks, me, Barrington Lee, the Yellow Man at the Barclay Center. That's my first show in a long time in New wow, York. Wow, wow. Yo, that's going to be what you call an old school get new. We're going to rip that up. I'm so excited to be a part of it. And um, then after that, I have a couple more as well. So we're working on everything. It's a lot of surprises coming. Excellent, excellent. The the new single is, is Gimme Way, um, and you're working on the album, you said. So uh, is there a sense of when, you know, how soon the album will, will be coming, or is it still in process? No, man. Well, the album is 90% complete. The rest is just to remix and do some stuff. So after Gimme Way, you know, do it stuff and everything like that, we're thinking about the banger for the summer, which I don't want to talk about yet. I don't okay. want to let you lose one, override one. And then after that, it's a go. I'll let, the, I'll let, I'll let my, my, my team, my agent, Double Exposure, and them and the, the company decide when they put it out. But I know that everything is going to be good for this year. That's the most important thing. Excellent, excellent. Um, remind people how they can follow you, social media, website, all that good stuff. Okay, people, you can follow me on IG, The Real Patra. The Real Patra. I just got on there. My friends are the one that set it up for me, you know, because back in the day, if someone was following me, I would be like so scared. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? in the 90s so now that i'm getting hip on it and everything like that so they can follow me most of my fans don't know where i'm at yet but now that i'm dealing with my promotion and getting ready for the road they'll find me so you can follow me on the real patron that's where i'm at for now and check out you know what's going on the tune is called give me away on the don't know this is some good positive sexy music no worry you know this, this is the same patra you know when it comes to the album believe me it's not only more mature it's very sensual and you can sit and love it. You can just be happy again about some good music. So I'm excited. Excellent. We are excited that we've had the chance to speak to you for a little while. And we look forward to seeing you when you make your way back to New York, June 6th. Yes. You said at the Barclays Center. Uh, so yes. everybody, you know, look for Patra. Check her out on Instagram, at The Real Patra. Patra, thank you so much for taking the yes, time. Thank you so much, darling. Much love. Much love to you. It's Rhythm and Soul Radio. It's only right that we play Patra. Give me way. <laughs> 